This is a monarch butterfly. The monarch, like all butterflies and moths, is called a scaly-winged insect because its wings are completely covered with tiny scales. We can see the scales more clearly under a magnifying lens. Here are two butterflies and a moth. Can you tell which is which? There are several ways of telling them apart. The antennae or feelers of butterflies usually end in small knobs, whereas the antennae of some moths are feathery in appearance. We can usually tell butterflies from moths by watching them at rest. Butterflies almost always hold their wings straight up. Moths do not. But moths and butterflies do have one thing in common. The same type of life cycle. A cycle of complete metamorphosis. Let's watch the life cycle of the monarch. The story begins with a milkweed plant. The female monarch lays her eggs on the underside of milkweed leaves. Monarch eggs are laid singly. Many butterflies and moths lay eggs on plants that later are food for the caterpillars or larvae hatched from the eggs. The monarch larva grows rapidly. It feeds almost constantly, biting away at the milkweed plant with its jaws. After feeding and growing for 10 days, the caterpillar is about two inches long. As it increases in size, the caterpillar outgrows its skin and sheds it. This is called molting, and the larva molts a number of times. The skin splits, and the caterpillar crawls out of it. When about 12 days old, the caterpillar spins a button of silk. After spinning the silk button, the caterpillar hangs head downward from it and bolts for the last time. As the old skin is pushed upward, we see a light-colored covering beneath. With a final effort to shed the old skin and reattach itself to the silk button, the larva completes its final molting. The monarch enters another stage in its life cycle as the old skin drops off. This is the pupil, or resting stage, the chrysalis stage. During the next two weeks, the monarch pupa inside the chrysalis undergoes many changes. Gradually, the green color of the chrysalis fades, and it becomes transparent. Within the protective covering, we can see the monarch butterfly, ready to emerge. How long will this process take? Let's see. First, the chrysalis begins to crack. And about 15 minutes later, it breaks open. The monarch then emerges from the chrysalis. Its wings are wet and crumpled. Now, about 30 minutes later, the wings have dried. We have seen that this monarch butterfly completed its emergence in about an hour. After resting for a time, the monarch flies off. Like most other scaly-winged insects, the monarch often makes long flights. Usually, it is found among patches of milkweed. One of the monarch's foods is the nectar of milkweed flowers. In drinking this nectar, the monarch uses a long tube. The tube is coiled up under the head when not in use. This, then, is the life cycle of the monarch butterfly, a scaly-winged insect. There are several things to remember about these insects that include all butterflies and moths. Their wings are covered with tiny scales, giving them their scientific name, the Lepidoptera. They all develop through a process of complete metamorphosis, from an egg to a larva or caterpillar, 
which develops into a pupa that emerges as an adult. The scaly-winged insects are beautiful and interesting. Among them is the monarch, sometimes called king of the butterflies. 